Hello everyone, this is Gorilla Mezzo of the JFW and we are coming back to the Blood Bowl world. We've got more leaks from Blood Bowl 2020. Jimmy Min-Max-tastic gathered him up and he's handed him off to Jimson and me. I haven't even seen these yet, but this is the first place on the internet you could possibly find this information. Don't bother looking anywhere else. Jims, can you walk us through some of this? Because I'm. this is all foreign to me. Yes, um, so they've completely rehauled. Yeah, that's that's a word. They've completely rehauled how they're doing. Uh, how they're doing star player points, rather than you know the current system, six SPP, sixteen, thirty, one, fifty, one, seventy six, one hundred and seventy six, and you hit those, you track how much total you've got, and when you hit those is when you get the skill. Now what you do is you accrue star player points, and then you spend them um, to get an advancement. And you'll so then you'll be back to like however many less than that, and then you'll just you'll accrue them and then spend them and accrue them and spend them, and you can spend them in different ways rather than having to roll in the chart. Uh, there's no more roll, roll two d six to how you level. You just simply spend more SPPs to get essentially a better skill when you level up. Jibs, I got a couple questions about this because uh, uh, from the first look, it's pretty interesting. I kind of like it, but then like all the warning signs start flashing it sure looks to me that a team like dwarves that's going to start with a bunch of skills is going to be doing to uh take a phrase that you just coined doing a lot of reholing around the blood bowl uh, universe uh it, like uh, walk me through this so if you're accruing spp say you're trying your first advancement and you're trying to save all the way up for 18 spp is that contributing to your tv do we know that um, yeah, it, it, we know that it definitely does not. Um, in the other leak that we did, there was a page that said um, a, a primary skill, a random primary skill adds 10 t, 10 10,000 10, K, so 10 TV essentially. Uh, a random primary adds 10 TV. A primary skill chosen or a randomly selected secondary skill is 20 K TV. A chosen secondary skill is 40 K TV. And then the characteristics are um, 10 for AV, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> and mid, and then 10 or 20 for passing. I don't know. No one's ever going to take it. <laughs> 20, I think, yeah. for passing. 40 for agility and 80 for strength. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. so That's yeah. That's a high price to pay for <laughs> the strength up, which arguably is the best stat to – well, not is inarguably the best stat – probably take but yeah. uh so are we gonna are we gonna see a bunch of uh a bunch of teams like dwarves maybe norse maybe even like uh like skinks or something like that just cycling through i mean i guess it depends on the setup of the league but it looks like you're just gonna cycle through random skills uh with cheaper you know cheap linemen that already have their their bases covered because it's not gonna matter yeah exactly yeah like especially general there's so many good general skills that i think choosing a random a random general skill is going to be pretty pretty decent like hedging your bets kind of thing like as you say norse linemen are a great candidate for it skinks incredible um but also this characteristic improvement um so now first of all there's a few things we've got unconfirmed um Number one is that movement nine will be the maximum a maximum amount of movement possible. So there will be no more natural one turners, and uh, like Skaven, for example, won't be able to get plus movement um, at all. And then the chart that you roll on, it's not completely random; it is weighted. So and again, this is just a rumor. You roll a d sixteen, uh, one to seven, you can choose movement or armor. Eight to thirteen, you can you you can choose movement, armor, or passing ability. And then 14, you can choose agility or passing ability. 15, you can choose agility or strength. And 16, you can choose whatever you want. Wow. Well, imagine saving up all the way for a uh, random, uh, a, a <laughs> random uh, characteristic improvement and then not getting anything near what you wanted. That would be kind of a nightmare at that point, huh? It would, but also unconfirmed. If, if you... Choose the randomly selected characteristic improvement. If you don't like the characteristic improvement, you can then choose a secondary skill. Uh, okay, so that's a little bit better. Now, could you, in theory, choose a secondary skill? Like, if you've saved up 18 SPP, can you choose a secondary skill and a primary skill? Because that would add up to 18 SPP. You could, yeah. So you would, you would, you, you, yeah. It, it says here it, what it, oh, uh, it is sorry. missing. It, would, it, yeah. it is missing. So it, this sentence will almost certainly say 
you can save up um, until you can afford a randomly selected characteristic improvement, at which point they must spend some of their SPP. They don't have to spend all of it. So you could go up to 18 SPPs and then just get a randomly selected primary skill and then wait till you go over 20 SPPs for the second advancement. Right, 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 right. Um, or you could just, you know, you could do all sorts. So it's, it's going to be really yeah. metagamey and uh, it's going to be yeah. completely different. It's going to be completely different. CCL, you know, matchmaking formats is going to be completely different to like short leagues where you don't want to fall behind the other teams, do you? You know, if the other teams are getting random primary skills or choosing primary skills and right. and then you'll be falling behind. Whereas if it's matchmaking, you'll be like, fine, I'll just save up, randomly get a characteristic improvement. Oh, it was it was it was armor or movement, I'll choose Mighty Blow then and stuff like that. So Right. Yeah, that's um I mean I guess that adds a new level to the game that that will kind of freshen it up for, for a while, but it sure seems to me like we are entering the world of uh, uh, min max tastic coming back to Blood Bowl, uh, and I think that 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 is really going to provide a boost to just a couple teams more so than others. Um, it does. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know how I feel, and yeah, but when you're in a smaller league, like if you're playing in a you know a, not a super competitive league with your friends, and you've only got like you know an eight game or a ten game season to deal with isn't it just better to take whatever skills you can get but then whoever gets lucky you know there's going to be one asshole who gets super <laughs> lucky all season long and just like walks over everyone else at the same tv yeah and 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 i tell you what else is crazy is uh you know the the it's been confirmed uh in the leaks that a casualty still gives two star player points and a completion still gives one um i have heard that MVPs give four SPPs, but this is unconfirmed. And no matter how reliable, it's still just a rumor, isn't it? But what's crazy is if you if you look at this, uh, you know, thirty one SPPs would give you three skills normally, wouldn't it? But if you chose all random primaries, you would have five skills at thirty one SPPs, wow. and you'd be a, you'd be a legend at forty six. <laughs> yeah. Well, as someone who generally errs on the side of not playing a ton of Blood Bowl games in any season, whether it's just a small friendly league or uh, you know my ten games in in CCL Max. Uh, that might appeal to me in some way to save up on a couple players, uh, but not when I'm, you know, taking my 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 favorite son Necro team up against, uh, you know, these newly min max dwarves. But we'll get into the Necro in just a second, I think. Anything else uh, on the advancements table from you, Jim? Yeah, well, um, do you know what? I think we should just do that in a whole new video. The Necros, they, they've been, they're they're coming out, they've come out new, but um. There's a lot in this, you know, there's a lot in this. So, as you say, yeah, a lot of people don't play a lot of Blood Bowl, do they? You know, like a lot of people for Blood Bowl is playing tabletop and stuff and yep. and not playing, you know, to the extent of myself or Crucifer or somebody online. So, you know, a lot of people, you'll you'll see it on Fumble especially, they're like, I've got my first Legend ever. I've been playing for like 15 years and I've just got a Legend, you know? <laughs> I've, been, I've been playing for 15 years. I've never had a Legend. It's just not the way I've played Blood Bowl. There you go. And now, I mean, 46 SPPs, <laughs> that's that's very attainable. People will yeah, have. I've had plenty of, I've had plenty of players at that. Now, I think your legend would look a bit ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> unless you had really, really good luck. Yeah. But you never know. Uh, do we know about the random selection? Oh, it's a primary skill. So on a, on a player who has like general, you know, general uh, agility pass, say, do you roll one roll that's going to go through all of those charts or do you roll one roll to pick a chart one roll we don't have any confirmation on how that general that random skill is generated do we we don't have actual confirmation no but um the, apparently this is like the 2017 necromunda rules where you choose which chart to roll on um, okay so that's not horrible then at least you no. have a little bit of control there yeah um yeah, uh, yeah, I could see that. I could see that being okay. But then, uh, but I mean, it sure makes it sure makes the strength, the strength skills kind of a gamble because if you're like, well, I want to roll because I really want, you know, guard or mighty blow. At that point, you're you you have to save up for it because <laughs> you're gonna end up with strong arm. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, <just star. laughs> yeah, and, and that's the yeah, thing. That, I, uh, to me, if I'm in a league where I can do the math and say I'm good enough to hang down a few skills to most of these coaches i don't know that i'd ever trust taking a randomly 
uh, a random primary skill, at least not on any of the teams I commonly play. Uh, but if I were, if yeah, if I were playing Norse, I would definitely do it. Dwarves, I'd probably do it, although that would cut down on like guard spam. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I would actually want to do it on Skinks. The more I think about it, because they don't have general access without doubles. Yeah, but you can choose. You can randomly select a secondary for quite oh, cheap. Oh, 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 yes, good point. Very mm. good point. Right. So you just got to save up a little bit more. But you can still okay. Mm. Yeah, I'd definitely rather have a random secondary than a yeah. than a chosen primary for skinks. You know, this is interesting. I'm kind of excited about this because it feels so fresh and different. And it, like again, in the world of digital blood bowl, which we are kind of immersed in at this point, neither of us really consistent table toppers anymore. Not that anyone on the planet is currently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it'll be really fun, assuming there ever is a digital version of these rules. Yes. It'll be really fun to see what CCL becomes under these rules. Will you only see a first page of three different teams with three different builds? Or will people be riding hard on those random primary skills? I think you'll see a lot of that on the opening day surge of games. And then as those teams get some separation, they can start cycling those players out. And maybe trying to get other players if they're committed to playing 60, 70, 80, 100 games. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, some some guy like Crucifer, you know, you're going to end up playing him and you're like, oh, I've got quite a good team. I've got all my dwarves, I've got guard and stand firm. And it's like, wait a minute, his have all got guard and stand firm and I'm, I'm not 20k cheaper. Because <laughs> <laughs> yep. he's just cycled till he got lucky. Um, but it, it's, I think, yeah, I think it's a great change. People get faster faster advancements in general you know if they want them even if they don't go double it's still six then 14 instead of six then 16 and then that's 26 instead of 31 isn't it so that they're still faster like a legend all chosen is what what's that 60 Hmm. 70 something 80 92 instead of 176 so like that's like a huge change for if you choose them all, and even if you go all random, it still comes out at about 170. So you could like yeah. you could go for you could go for all tried all stats, and you would still be less SVPs. And obviously, what happens is the higher levels it gets much higher. So you want to front load the the riskier things mm. and the the like the secondaries and stuff. You still want to front load those, but it's it's going to be super interesting. I think yeah. I think it's actually yeah. a really good change. At first, I was a bit yeah. at first I overreacted to it. Because I didn't know the full how random it was, and then right. uh, and uh, and what, being able to take this backup secondary skill, but I think overall I think it's a great change. I think faster advancement is good for most people who play the game, and I think random is a choice that you can do, and it, it does bring in decisions and stuff. You know, general, particularly general skill, I think is great to take at random, and uh, yeah, I think it's a great change. Honestly, I'm pretty hyped for it now. Yeah, I think I'm still in that first phase of shock and trying to process it that you went through when you first found this. Uh, yeah. I see what you're. I do see what you're saying, but again, from where I sit as someone who's going to get, you know, in in a single season of CCL, I'm going to get like one twentieth of the skill choices that you are on my team, and suddenly, so it almost doesn't really change anything for me because I'm always going to be in that primary skill maybe get a secondary skill occasionally on like one or two players and you know that doesn't skew anything too too much for me uh so it seems a little bit i just i i don't see myself being the kind of player that could uh trust a a randomly selected primary skill because i know you know i'll I'll end up with about a half dozen fumble rooskies if i ever pull that off (laughs) yeah yeah, but it's good that it's good that you've got the option, though, isn't it? You know, if you were desperate, you could do it. You could also sit on improvements, and then you could decide. All oh, right, I'm playing Jim. Yeah. In that case, yeah. I'll buy a I'll buy a dirty player here or something. Or then, yeah. oh, I'm playing uh, I'm playing Amazon's next. In that case, I'll choose a tackle yeah. and stuff like that. And so it's pretty cool. I, honestly, I think it's re- I think it's really great. And uh, yeah. And I'm happy I, I will it. say in a in the CCL ladder, a team like Undead, who are so good at a thousand TV, uh, even after the changes, still a really good team at a thousand TV. Um, they can just sit on all their SPP as they build up their record until they've got you know a huge stock of SPP on the players they need. So when they're ready to advance, when they're like, okay, now it's time to just level all these guys up. And they, you know, they can kind of pick and choose their skills exactly the way they want 
to be able to better compete at that, you know, 14, 1500 TV where they start falling off uh, would be interesting. Or would you just see some asshole sitting on a thousand TV necro <laughs> loading up all his SPP winning on uh, against uh, fresh teams? And then when he gets to the playoffs, he just sees who his first round is and levels everyone up. I mean, you, you wouldn't really go that far because of, uh, you know, you can only sit on as much for a random, the, ne the next random characteristic. So you, you wouldn't be able to sit on infinite okay. amounts, but you could you could sit on a decent chunk for sure. Oh, so you can't so you can't accrue past eighteen in your first level. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you could, but then you've got to spend to get below that. Oh, so you, okay. I understand. I misunderstood that. I was thinking you just had a pool of SBP. You could save up fifty SBP before spending any of it, and yeah. then you just have to base it. You know, <laughs> base your first on the experience cost, and then your second skill would be on the veteran cost, and so on and so forth. Yeah, no. So you, you could you could hoard it, and you could go into a game with seventeen SPPs. You could come out with it with twenty, and then you could be like, right, well, I'll choose a secondary skill, and now you've got eight SPPs left. You wouldn't have to choose a primary skill. You could then sit on that SPP until you're up to twenty, right. but then you would have oh, to do. Oh, that's something. what I'm saying. So it doesn't cap. So if you're experienced, if you're at first advancement, if you earn eighteen SPP in a game somehow. And then you get one more. Do you earn it to nineteen, or do you just not earn that SPP? Is my you, question. You, you would you would earn it, but you would have to spend it before you play the next game. Okay, okay. Now I okay. That was the part I was missing. I was that yeah. I was like, how do you not just pull that up? <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. that makes a lot more sense. Uh, I mean, that's still uh, that is a ton of SPP to you know <laughs> like that would be multiple games for most people unless yeah. they had a real blowout game. Yeah, and one last thing before we go, uh, this this is quite interesting. Is all, you know, there's a lot of these guides on the internet about what to take on doubles and stuff, and what, if you roll them now, you're guaranteed to get them if you want them, aren't you? So you yeah. could, everyone's going to have builds in mind. For example, a werewolf with blodge mighty blow, and they'll be able to go every time. They'll be able to take block first, mighty blow second, dodge third, or whatever. However, they want to do it. They'll, they'll be able to hit those every single time, won't they? Or try for an imp a characteristic improvement, especially with werewolves, right? Start with a random characteristic. You might get strength, you might get agility. If you don't, you get mighty blow. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I am. I am pretty much into that. that I, I was thinking about that. That's the one thing where you get to always get. Because again, I'm I'm one of those guys, and you know, woe is me. But I don't generally find myself because I play necro a lot. I, I've never found myself in a CCL run with Necro with any strength access whatsoever. <laughs> I'm always just these blood step wolves that I don't really know what to do with. <laughs> yeah, and that will think of the so past, that you know. Be pretty nice for me. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. El elves will get guard guaranteed and stuff and things like this and very interesting. Right, so um, that's about it. I think we've we've covered pretty much everything, pretty in depth there about these new uh, SPPs, and some some of the information isn't confirmed, but it it is reliable. But you know, you still can't say hundred percent it's yep. sure. Um, well, that is the world of leaks, and that is your Blood Bowl twenty twenty advancements table. My name is Gorilla Metso. Jims, thank you for walking me through this. This has been pretty enlightening, and yeah, just I think I went through all seven stages of grief just like you did. Uh, you know, discovering this and coming into it, a pretty unique and interesting change to the game, one that will have some serious, serious effects on the leagues that most people, you know, that this video will be reaching, know and love uh, or hate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, you know, don't knock it till you try it, I guess. This should, this should add a lot of flavor. Uh, it will be really interesting to see what kind of metas come out of it. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Gorilla. And one last thing before I go, I will say that supposedly the redrafting rules are going to be way more aggressive and that will be lower SPP, so you might not be able to sit um, in short leagues on the SPPs as much in terms of that. Um, but thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.